Hi guys, it's Marco Vitanen from Train for Beast Fitness. Today we will take a look at the second compound exercise for the push day, standing dumbbell shoulder press. This exercise will target your shoulders and triceps, which makes it an excellent exercise to do early in your push day. Generally you want to do compound exercises first and then move on to isolation exercises and finishers. I do this exercise right after another good compound exercise, the bench press, as my second exercise for the push day. First of all, why are we doing this exercise standing? Well, I always, ex uh, I always favor exercises that give you free body movement because this method also makes all your stabilizing muscles stronger. Also, by doing this standing, you are not planned against stationary object, which could potentially cause harm to your body. What do I mean with this? Let's say you are sitting while doing dumbbell press. In this position, there is a chance you start sliding a bit in the bench, and you can compromise your lower back. Also, by doing this, you transfer stress to your chest muscles, instead of doing full work with your shoulders. In addition, as you lift on the bench, you will be pressing your head against the bench, which might cause neck problems in the long run. So by doing this standing, we minimize all the risks and we force you to use your core to force to keep the post posture. Don't be lazy. This is compound exercise, so let's work many muscles. We are not isolating one muscle. For that, we have other exercises. When doing shoulder press standing, you must make sure you do not bend back too much. Keep your core tight and force yourself to be as straight as possible. There will be small arcs since you'll be holding weight slightly in front of you. Why do you hold weight slightly in front of you instead of perfectly inside? Well, by moving your shoulders slightly forward gives your shoulders a safe position to lift up and it will not squeeze your bursa in the shoulder. A bursa is a tiny, tiny fluid-filled sac that functions as a gliding surface to reduce friction between tissues in the shoulder. By constantly squeezing it against superstitious tendon can cause bursitis and inflammation in the tendon itself. We can avoid this by moving hands a little bit forward so that it will not put so much pressure on it. Also, to help with this problem, you should place your shoulders back and down when lifting. What comes to the range of motion? Rather than letting weights all the way down, slow them down when going down and start lifting up as soon as you enter the lowest point. Do not stop in lower position. This will keep the workload in your shoulders instead of entering resting stage in lower position. When, when lifting up, I would advise not going all the way up because this will also put unnecessary pressure on your shoulder joints. You can still do almost full range of motion just by avoiding extremes. This way you can work out safely and have full benefits of the exercise. When you start lifting, place the weights against your quads and kick them up. This way you do not have unnecessary explosive movement to your anterior shoulder muscle before the workout. Do the first set with around 50% weight to get used to the heavier weights. Then move on to your actual work sets around 80% of the maximum weights. Maximum weight being your maximum one repetition. For this exercise, I recommend 8 to 10 repetitions for 4 to 5 sets. If you have done bench press before this, you will not have full power in your triceps anymore, since you have worked on them before. Sometimes you can change the exercise order by doing standing dumbbell shoulder press before the bench press. This allows you to go heavier with the shoulders, but for safety reasons, it is more advisable to do bench press first in your default routine. When you are doing your last reps, if you feel like you are running out of strength and you are reaching failure before you have finished your repetitions, it is a good idea to go 
past your failure point by using your feet to help with the lift. You can bend your knees and give way to good push in your last chest to go past failure. Do not do this method in the beginning of the workout. Do it only in the last sets when reaching the failure. If you do not have enough strength in the beginning, just take lighter weights to perform your first sets with a normal technique. All right, if you found this video helpful and uh, you want to see some more, first of all, like the video, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and uh, click the bell button also to get notifications about the new videos and uh, see you in the workouts.